Hey guys and welcome to Dark Circle 22 plays Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots for uh, PlayStation 3. <clears throat> now this is the only play, uh, fucking Metal Gear game that wasn't like it's not on emulator as well as it's like console only so I am doing this on capture card. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to render it in 4K but I am capturing it in 4K capture card and PS3, whatever. Um, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right in then, fuck it. I already beat, uh, Snake Eater, so... And all the other ones prior to this one, so without further ado, let's just jump right in. And then after this, we'll play Ground Zero in the last Metal Gear game, so... Two years ago with Hudson River. So, who oh, what the hell? is David Hater? <laughs> oh, well, I'm accomplished actor, hey, that's Snake, dude. Writer, the voice of Snake. Generation. <laughs> well, I... Citizen of the world. Uh, yeah, well, I never. Ripped from the. Oh, I can change the show. What is this, dude? Oh, video one and video two, like video one, video two. Serious. And I'm sure it tastes delicious. It certainly smells. Some have even been observed walking on two arms and imitating a coconut. I can hear like David Hader. Something sort of. Uh, sure, I, I guess. Let's see. Larry's such a good man. We've been married for a while. And he wants to give me the second. Melissa, I'm going person. to have to ask you to choose your question, please. Oh, it's supposed to be like who wants to be a man. Tattoo of Kobe behind my ear. Tattoo, splendid. A framed Hollywood David Hater. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's not terribly big. <laughs> what are? What does it say? You know, Hollywood gets third generation. I, what do you okay. mean? Why are you here? Oh, well, I was hoping to promote my new movie. I'm just coming off of the set. No, David Hater. Why here wearing an eye patch? Oh, the eye patch. Uh, this is pretty cool, actually. Mm. Gives me uh, real-time information and, and uh, you know, weather, traffic reports. Um, actually, watching a baseball game as we, uh, as we speak. Oh, Billy. What drives you? What are your dreams? Uh, well, you know, I'd have to say my dream project. Let your dreams drive you. Uh, These uh, like two voice actors. I bet the interviewer has like part in the in the game too. Never what is this? <laughs> this is breaking the fourth wall and shit. Oh, what the hell? H&K, dude, with the SOCOM. With the, I mean, with the suppressor. Never a shot in the dark. What is this, dude? Brave and Claw or some shit. <laughs> Brave, what, what is that intro? What did that have to do with anything? What? What the fuck? <laughs> this game, dude. Iconic English voice actors, then, which are our fucking Metal Gear series. Oh, 
fucking Philomore. <laughs> Mad TV, dude. Samurai Jack. Ideologies or ethnicity. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. War and its consumption of life has become a well oiled machine. War has changed. ID tag soldiers carry ID tag weapons, use ID tag gear. Nanomachines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. Genetic control, information control, emotion control, battlefield control. Everything is monitored and kept under control. War has changed. The age of deterrence has become the age of control. All in the name of averting catastrophe from weapons of mass destruction. And he who controls the battlefield controls history. War has changed. When the battlefield is under total control, war becomes routine. Play. What was I gonna say? Uh, oh. Snake, you can adjust the camera angle with the right stick. To center the camera, press in the R3 button. Oh, they're never gonna fucking. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons why it's never gonna be on. Uh... What is it? Let me see if there's any. This is there. Hold on, my bad, dude. Let's turn on audio, I mean, turn this on, turn this on, my bad, I didn't do this prior. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, this game will never be re-released since, like, Hideo Kojima is leaving of Konami, Hideo Kojima, I think. And the ad link controls four specifically. Uh, what the heck? How do I L1 R2? Wait, wait. L1 R2? Oh, okay. It's a whole new, different fucking style. Very. What is it? Try going under. Very action -y. It's no longer like Snake Eater controls at all. Everyone, keep 
Dude, I'm barely even starting. Adaptive cutscenes? Um. What else do I have here? Rumble pack that adapts to the world instead to of. To make it, a weapon it, available for use, ready it by selecting weapons from the menu screen. You can just use what, random anybody's weapon. This is like. Uh, this was like what you call it. God damn it. AK-102. Oh, how do I? Oh, I want it. Oh, over the shoulder. Different types. I can't. How do I? How do I? Uh, how do I go to the first person? Oh, Don't nice. forget, Snake. This is still a sneaking mission. The basic rules still apply. How do I reload? Stay oh, I can't. out of sight. Mantis, dude. Equip and equip fucking unequip and equip uh thing. And they drop actual weapons now, they don't just automatically turn into a ration box or whatever. <laughs>
Good no place for idiot, that's very <laughs> I didn't know Hidia did the lyrics to the <laughs> intro, you saw that? Making sure it's not booby trap, making sure there's a round in the chamber, dude, saw that? That's pretty fucking sick. It became more tactical, dude. <laughs> Negative. The wrinkled skin, the hardened arteries. Your early aging symptoms look like classic Werner syndrome. But none of the tests were able to pinpoint the cause. So. Well. Judging by how rapidly the aging has progressed, I'd say. A year at best. Right. Yeah. Snake, let's try another doctor. It won't make any difference. I'm not an ordinary man to begin with. Not to mention Fox Die. Well, I'm 
I'm not a colonel anymore, Snake. I figured the only place I'd see you dressed like that would be at your daughter's wedding. What are you doing these days? I'm working for an organization under the UN Security Council. The analysis and assessment staff of the PMC Oversight and Inspection Committee. Yeah, I remember the resolution being passed a few years ago. Snake, I uh, came across some information in my work. Huh? We found him. In the Middle East. What? I'll explain along the way. We've got to stop him. Now. Before it's too late. Liquid's made his move. We found him. He's preparing to unleash his insurrection. Liquid is lying in wait in a Middle Eastern war zone. Track him down. today? Solidus must have taken the day off. Seven, eight, nine, two, five, nine, oh, three, six, oh, seven, three, three, oh, five, three, oh, five, four, eight, eight, two, oh, four, six, six, five, two, <laughs> they named the chicken Solidus? <laughs> Is this the song that video made the lyrics for? Fucking like one second. What's the situation? I'm just inside the city limits. This place is crawling with lizards. Look at that uh, Apple computer. ET fun. Corps unmanned bipedal How do I weapons. Zoom in? Officially designated Irving by the US military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. They've got that's, tough that's armor an plating Apple and computer. are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Unmanned. Pretty soon they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price for that region. It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. You really think he's here? You'll have to find the army's operatives and ask them yourself. Oh, and Snake, I went ahead and used the Mark II to scout out the area before your arrival. You'll find it up ahead. Mark II? It's a remote mobile terminal. Sonny and I built it. The Mark II will provide you with a map of the area as well as any battle situation data. You should find it before you do anything else. Okay, got it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. I'll be waiting for you there. Fucking Octo Camo. Oh, we got Octo Camo. All Alright guys, so I had to be real, I, I had to learn how to replay this game, like, I do not know how to play, it's nothing like Metal Gear Solid, uh, what is it? Oh, I like how I remembered. Oh. I'm not really 
really good with stealth, so fuck it. I'm gonna try to try to do this first mission, which requires stealth. The rest of the missions don't really like they do, but not really in a sense. Because, you know, this is like a tutorial, and I'm still fucking getting my ass kicked. Never possible. In this war, neither side is your enemy. There's no point whatsoever in you getting into a fight. Got it? The arsenal compress. I gotta do one of these numbers, dude. Hump the ground. Yeah, it was fucking absolutely terrible. Yeah, that's a fucking 50 BMG auto turret with like, what is that? Smoke flak? Like, like a smoke? What the fuck are they getting killed? I'm using the. Stealing their weaponry that's that's free. You can see kind of where it wants you to go. There's like a set path. But I really wanted to try to learn how to knock and all that shit, but it it's I have to learn all over again. Oh ice cream man! by both the militia and the PMCs. Remember though, PMC weapons are locked. You can't use them. If only there was some way to get rid of the locks. <laughs> See, he's fucking struggling. Pretty fucking cool, man. I need to. I wish I could do some cheat engine. Why can't be so gay? <laughs> His little ding dong, dude. Oh my god. Ding dong. As if, like, riding. Sexual innuendo, but it's cool, dude. It's cool. It's like when anime does it, it's not the same. What's this? Can I get some rations? Yes. Look, I forgot how you knock, you press fucking R1. It's like, <clears throat> shit. It's a what? What's the enemy? What? <laughs> See what I mean? It's not the same. Should have his ass in there. Oh, I had to press triangle, not the not the choke hold. This is HQ. What? Acknowledged. I'm 
Sending reinforcements. Oh my god. Yeah, I forgot. I'll try to show me with the iPod things, and this is no way gonna get fucking a re, a re uh, thing. Look at this compressed like Salompas, dude. <laughs> Look at the Salompas, huh? It's all fucked up because I just wanted to show you guys the one fucking. Oh no! I think I'm dead, dude. Shit! Oh, okay, let's just run away. Let's just run away. It's all fucked up here, dude. It's all fucked here. It's all bullshit here. Zero stress, dude. Zero stress, dude. Up really bad trying to knock. What's that? Is this the way? Oh man, I don't know. Holy shit, There's, they're doing artillery like for real? It's not just sound effects? You saw that? You know when they made the iconic uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 tacticalness? Look at this, dude. This is super, very modern. They're somehow talking to each other without talking to each other. It's the nano machine song. Look how tactical they are. One face is left, one face is right. It's like information's being sent immediately. And I didn't know if I could just relax, like heal. Let's go to sleep, old man. I don't even know where I nearly need to go. It's funny though, I don't know, understand how come it's just playing in 4K and I'm comping it in 4K, but the game's native resolution is 1080. Like, there's no 4K resolution output on the PS3, but you know when I think it does 4K, I don't know why. I don't know how. I think it's the capture card doing it, or... But it is doing 4K, like I'm forcing it, I guess. This is HQ. I just got some like generic. Understood. The state of alert has been lifted. Resume positions. Cool. Let's see where you guys go. Where the fuck do I go? Holding them up is not the same. That's all I gotta say. Holding them up is totally different now. And don't even risk it. Who's that? It's the enemy! Oh <laughs> what happened? Hit him! <laughs> <laughs> 
What do you mean, sighted, dude? Eliminate all enemies. Oh my god, they see me, dude. What you get? What you get? How did this happen? No, it's your imagination. Where's my mouse accuracy? <laughs> <laughs> I missed my mouse accuracy, dude. You wasted a round, Snake. You don't need to charge the charging handle if you replace the magazine. Damn it. What? What's going on? I guess he's doing it by muscle memory. Look, I reload, and you waste around. That's an unfired shell, man. This is not even the right way to go. Jesus That's a lot of dead dudes. That's where I need to go. All because of one fucker. Is this where I need to go? Knock knock. <laughs> knock knock, dude. Fucking. Snake's not feeling good. This is HQ. He's stressing out his anxiety. Understood. The state of alert has been lifted. Resume positions. This is where I was before, too, though. Where is the next zone? Otacon! How do I call you? Snake, your first order of business is to rendezvous with the Mark II. Just follow my instructions and use your Octo Camo to make sure the enemy doesn't see you along the way. Where the fuck you want me to go? Oh. North is that way at the follow the red. Man, I'm, I, this is so, so new. I'm trying, man. Oh, man, he's getting... We're under attack. Type of fucking... Let me see if the sticky will work. What is it? Is there aim assist? Man, I usually don't use aim assist, but... I think I'm gonna have to use aim assist. I hate it on mouse. It makes it harder to do headshot. But just where I needed to go, dude. Me, oh, Goku. Come. Sorry to keep you waiting, Snake. Allow me to introduce Metal Gear Mark II. Metal Gear. That's right. Just like Rex. But this gear's not a weapon. It's a remote mobile terminal designed to provide you with operational support. Where are you? I'm in the Nomad. Where else? I'll be watching you through the Mark II. Mm. 
Wish I was good with gadgets. Hey, I'll be with you in spirit. Anyway, because you had to dress up as a militiaman, I had the Mark II bring you some goodies. Starting with this. Put it on your left eye. Looks like an eye patch. I call it the Solid Eye. It's an all-purpose goggle that displays radar images and other data in 3D. You can also switch it over to light amplifying night vision. Rebels are out there. It looks like they've got the government's PMC troops beat, at least in numbers. And this is their own turf. Snake, I know this is a sneaking mission, but you'll need to protect yourself. Huh. Hell yes, 1911, slide, long trigger. Let's see if he does the same thing as Metal Gear Solid 3, because it looks like the same the gun. Operator. I installed a suppressor. And here's a tranquilizer gun. Ooh, no more hush puppy, dude. Oh, how thoughtful. It predates the implementation of the system. By some miracle, it was never recycled. It's getting tough these days finding decent guns that aren't controlled. Yeah. Why don't you just print out a ghost gun? These are all the rage. America. Of course. I'll follow you wherever you go. Like this. I'll activate stealth so it doesn't attract any attention. If you need it, just bring up the start button menu. Got it. Snake, the informants who said they saw a liquid here should be a little further up. Head for the rendezvous point. I've placed a mark on the radar in the upper right corner of the solid eye. It's a war zone out there. Stay on your toes. So if he has Octocam, how come I don't, I mean, like, Stealth Camouflage, wouldn't Stealth Camouflage be better than this Octocam? Like, I get, no. Oops. Oh. Oh. Look at that, they got all the stuff. Fucking Marpat, dude. If you want to play as thing, look at that tiger shark. Oh, that's fine. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. Magazines. What's this? Let me see. How do I change to? Oh no, that's items. Damn, dude, I'm fucking getting stupid. Son of a bitch. There you go. I can pull him out. Oh, he's already. God damn it. And thing. Ember fucking thing got his right eye jacked up. The Mark II is more than just a communications journal. It's got a lot of other functions as well. Try taking it for a spin. See for yourself what it can do. He's <laughs> like. <laughs> What's this auto aim? What can it do? It can do this, man. It can pick his nose and stuff. Oh, I can pick up ammo. Yeah. Watch 
It has the jump stop. Look at this, damn, that's so fucking sick, dude. It gave me a ration, too. Alright, here we go. What's this? What the fuck was that all about? I do not remember doing this kind of shit when I was playing before, dude. Alright, that's enough of you. Is this thing silenced? It is. Silenced it doesn't come off. Operator does as a I mean silencer suppressor. Piercing through the damn thing. Oh, I don't know. Where the fuck do you want me to go again? Man? You want me to go through this? fighting me because I'm not uh... I see I see they're just fighting this at least they don't you guys want the revolution dude <laughs> Never gonna use it. Fuck it. God is great right here, dude. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. You like that? You guys like that? We're friends? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Guys! Oh my god. After all that, now I know. It's our proxy war, dude. <laughs> I got allies. I thought they were both unneutral. He's like, he's the old man in the car from before, dude. Like that. He's the old man from the car before. Snake. It's kind of a shrimp, but I've sent you data on an alternate route. Follow them off on your radar. Ah! Ah! 
God, what is this? Aerial bombardment? How come I didn't see that before? All I had to do was... Well, I want to help them out, man. For some reason. I think it's because the other guys are just, you know... Evil. Not evil, but they're just not... They're aggroed against him and it makes me want to kill them. You chose the wrong side! Like that! You chose the wrong side. Take care, guys. Oops. What the fuck? What the hell? Those are bad news. The basic fundamentals of rifle marksmanship. Do you know what they are? It's like positioning, trigger squeeze, <laughs> sight picture, and recoil or something like that. It's been a long time since I've been in the military. <laughs> but I think that's right. That's not even military, so that's like basic any shooting. It's stance, trigger squeeze, sight picture. I think the last one's recoil, I'm not it's sure. Pretty dark in there. Switch the solid eye to night good. vision mode. You want me to do this huh? Oh my god. Oh it's militia. Who? What are you doing here? Oh he likes it. Yeah. He likes it. So I'm having saw that little heart, it was like the dogs. Damn. The chickens, dude. Ooh, fucking ramen. <laughs> oh, man. instant noodles again, man. friends with these guys for a while. Anti-anxiety, dude! And take your gabapentin and your... your fucking... meloxetine, dude. <laughs> Trying to tank your thing. Theme of Tara. What's that sound? What's going on? <laughs> I wonder what language they're speaking. I remember last time they were speaking Russian, but it was in English. Hey, what's this? What's going on? Oh. What? Oh, it's you again. Yeah, so they know. I've been with them from before. I see. Fucking Willie Pete, dude. I see. He's 
the old man who knows how to fucking shoot like that. First person is this binoculars, dude. Is that how I do it? Like this? There we go. Look at that. H and K. Fucking. And Payday 2, that was the Galil. Uh, Mark 23, I think? I don't remember. Alright, so third person. I mean, yeah. Gotta increase the third person. That thing is way too slow. Over the shoulder? I don't get it. Oh, okay, yeah. There we go. Let's increase it to max. This is max? <laughs> or is that third person? Oh no, what have I done? Let's see, over the shoulder. Normal view. There we go. I like her ridiculously quick on this thing. But I don't like it ridiculously quick when I'm aiming. I want you guys to get sick. <laughs> I want you guys to get motion sickness. That's too fast. I think a little lower. So it won't make you guys get motion sick. There we go. <laughs> I don't want you guys to get like, oh my god, he's moving the camera, but I like to do it. That's how I play, dude, with a mouse. Am four, a one. My God! Oh, hold it! Watch where you're pointing that thing. Dennis Rodman. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. Voila! You're not with the militia, and you're not PMC. I'm a weapons wholesaler. All shapes, all sizes. But there's no need to worry, because all my shit's been laundered. Laundered? <laughs> you see, I take ID guns like the PMCs use and make some mods. Then you can use them without having to match IDs. In other words, I'm a gun launderer. You can call me Drebin. Drebin. Yeah, they use that for all of us. There are more of you. All over the world. Not that I ever met any of them personally. Me, I'm Drebin number 893. You ain't a registered PMC employee, are you? You need a guy like me. Consider it a welcome gift. Take it. The 
M4, the official carbine model used by the U.S. Army, developed from the M16 service rifle. This one's a top-of-the-line model, real popular with the big PMCs. High precision, not like that government-issue shit. It's, uh, free-floating, of course. Relax, that barrel's clean. Is the Hyder CQC compatible? The beauty of this sucker is that it's got a lot of customizable parts. Change it up the way you want to meet your everyday needs. Flip up sight, rail system. Not bad. Yeah, well, you know, I get a lot of noobs around here. And if you need them, I got a wide selection of aftermarket parts as well. The frame's pretty rigid. No rattle. Go ahead, give her a squeeze. Hmm. Huh. I can't pull the trigger. Really? That's weird. What's weird? Wait, I got it. I bet you're using an older generation of nano machines. Older generation? Sometimes they don't really jive with the new system. Seriously, who are you? Oh, slow down. My day job's working at AT Security. I'm in charge of production control. So I get my hands on all the ID chips before they even register. Have a sip. Mm -mm. It's a side of AT the public don't see. From the looks of it, you ain't with any state army. But you ain't exactly green, neither. You've got last gen nano machines. So I'm guessing former US Army. <laughs> I don't know what you're here for. But you want to be well equipped, am I right? So, can we talk business or what? You won't regret it. <laughs> What's your take on Emoticon? I don't particularly like the guy. But it looks like we'll need his help with those ID guns. Sonny's been doing a little sleuthing for us. Drebin, a well-known gun launderer in war economy circles. He's a businessman who deals mainly in selling black market firearms to small PMCs and local militia. Somalia, the Balkans, Lebanon, Darfur, Chechnya, Timor, Peru, the Punjab, Kashmir, Colombia, this guy really gets around. How's he pull it off, anyway? You can create a non-ID gun by replacing the ID recognition chip with a counterfeit version. This enables you to bypass the ID recognition process and use the gun. The problem is that there's still a record of the chip being replaced on the system side. Drebin's an employee of AT Security. He must have connections on the inside erasing records for him. You think the Patriots are involved somehow? I'm not so sure. If the Patriots were running the system from behind the scenes, then a weasel like Drebin would be a real pain in their collective ass. Can he be trusted? Remember, Drebin's a green collar. He makes his living off the war economy. He doesn't let emotions get in the way of business, and he never gets his own hands dirty. The only thing he trusts is money. I share your concern, but what if we keep him at arm's length? Use him only to get intel and the supplies we need. Keep it strictly business. All right. So, we ready to make a deal or what? Okay then, let's talk business. Pretty sure this Nark that soda is, is from police. There's product coming in here by the truckload. And you'll be picking up a lot of guns in the field, I'm sure. Whatever guns you don't need, I'll take and buy them off you. That'll earn you points you can cash in for services. Like what? I'll launder your ID guns. No more locks. And I can also sell you the guns I've got in stock. Let me show you.
To ensure you can use non-ID guns, I'm gonna have to suppress the old nanomachines you got in you. Otherwise, they'll interfere with the system. Here, stick yourself with this. It's full of suppressor nanomachines. Relax, it won't hurt. You're scared of needles or something? Just kidding, that's heroin, baby. <laughs> that's, that's heroin, baby. No sweat. Now you can use non ID guns, no problem. Hey, be nice to our guest. That was heroin, baby. Step outside. Pick up an ID gun that says lock, you just let me know. You name it, I can launder it. Of course, it'll cost you. The going rate depends on the war price at the time. <clears throat> Man, I gotta give this shit a rest. Looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself. You might say that. What with the war economy and all. And the system clamping down on things. System codes are the law now. And control's essentially absolute. Paving the way for fat profits, if you're willing to bend the law. The man keeps on growing thanks to the war economy. I sell ID guns to the PMCs and state armies, and naked guns to terrorist groups and paramilitaries. And these ID guns can't be sold on the black market. System's practically a license for us arms dealers to print money. Privatizing the military's made the PMCs big and bloated. And the fatter the PMCs get, the line between civilian and soldier is gonna get real blurry. Sooner or later, the whole damn human race is gonna be green collars. More like we're all gonna be fighting proxy wars. But hey, this war economy puts the food on my table. You're a green collar too, aren't you? Yeah, it's in your eyes. You've seen a lot of combat. What makes you think you know me? Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm the same way. I grew up here too. I got no interest in the outside world. All right then, if you need me, holla. We specialize in speedy service. Catch my drift. Yeah, but real talk, like Americans would never, never allow firearms to be needed, ID tracing and stuff like that. That would never happen. We're too patriotic with our firearms and we, I, 100% we would rather do fucking, what is it, ghost guns if that's the case. Where you can't fire a firearm without a ID, proper ID, dude? Nah, nah. That'll never happen. This is, I'm talking about like law-abiding citizens as well as criminals we would both that's enough politics uh, let's just get back in the game <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but Drebin does have a point. The world depends on war, on the war economy. Can you imagine what would happen if war just disappeared overnight? 
Emoticon, you and Drevin both mentioned something about a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? It's a kind of market price, one that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support them. Hmm. It's been growing by leaps and bounds, and investors are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasingly intense and prolonged, the war price goes up. No doubt Drebin's rates are linked to that war price. The longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service prices are gonna get. To put it another way, the quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake, we'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery boy, connect you with him. I'm adding a Drebin menu item to the Mark II's weapon menu. Whenever you pick up multiple units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold to Drebin. Any ammo that's inside gets added to your cache. In other words, you keep the ammo, and the weapon itself gets traded to Drebin for points. I see. You can then use the points you've earned to unlock ID guns or buy new weapons. Sounds good. We should assume Drebin has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services? Guess I'll have to rely on him for now. Okay. Now go meet up with our informants, Rat Patrol. Who's this? I hope we can say I'm a friend. Listen, you creep. It's not your money we want. It's your ass. I'm sorry to hear that. 